this is a very popular river for people to flow through, <laughs> and I think it's time we make it a little bit easier for everybody. What do you say? Welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 10. I'm Gemini Day, and this is Episode 3. I'm looking a little cooler since you last saw me. I know, I know, I got the full diamond tools and stuff. Look, I got this really good axe. I enchanted that just in an enchanting table, which is kind of crazy. Also, I've been experimenting with putting the armor trims I found on my armor, because I think they actually look really cool with my skin. So I have a coastal one in here that I haven't tried out yet. The dune one is the one that I currently have on my boot. This helmet is also looking pretty cool, so let's put some armor trims on that as well. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> Now, it's about time we fix up this river, don't you think? I have a very important sort of main build that I need to do in order to really sell this whole theme. And that build is a lighthouse. This lighthouse will be a landmark of sorts for my entire base. So I want it to be kind of on the outer edge. And I was thinking maybe where this big tree here could potentially be perfect. I see that Grian has put his little uh, lily pad bridge here right to his place. So if if I mark this with a big old rock and a lighthouse and then terraform around it, we should be able to get something really cool going here. As you probably guessed already, there are steps I must take in order to be able to begin building the structure. And the first step is the terrain. Got to adjust the terrain. I've been slowly widening this river anyways. What's a little bit more? So I'm starting to establish the shape that I want the shore to take on, just, you know, a bit wider. More room for activities, if you will. And the next step that I need to do is material gather. But I think before I material gather, I kind of need to decide exactly how big I'm building. I don't know, that just sort of feels like it would be important. <laughs> so I've got some dirt here, and I'm gonna mark it where I think I want the center. Maybe the center is just here. This might be the center of the circle. And we gotta figure out how high the lighthouse is going to be. This is uh, very difficult and precarious to do without creative flight, but maybe here? I don't know if I want it to be taller than that hill. I definitely don't want it to be taller than that one, but I do want it to be quite tall. Maybe, maybe here. Okay, if I go here, that'll be just taller than this hill, but not taller than that hill. I feel like this will be a good view of the area. Let's check. Woo! I think I expanded that river. Since this is a lighthouse, it's a build that I want to be able to see from just about everywhere in my base. And I think that might about do it. <laughs> That's definitely very, very tall. I probably should be material gathering, but I just can't help myself. If I'm going to have a lighthouse, I want to also really have a lot of jagged, sharp rocks in the area, right? The lighthouse's purpose is to show people where these rocks are. So I really want it to be in quite a precarious situation, right? really. And just like that, we've got a general width and also height of my future lighthouse. This is exciting. We're actually building a base. Now for a lighthouse, I'm going to want to make it out of that classic white. And I think this is our options for our white blocks. With the height of that thing, I'm definitely gonna need more than that. Okay, so that's the first thing we've got to material gather. And then I've also got to think about what exactly I want to build the rocks out of. And I think terracotta is probably a pretty easy answer. Oh, and maybe mud. I kind of keep forgetting that mud exists. Maybe something like this combo would actually give us some nice dark rock textures. Yeah. I like it. So naturally, now it's time to material gather. Partially myself and partially with my neighbors. Anything I can help you with there, Tim? Just looking through my chests. Looking through your chests. All right, oh, hold on. Come over. Oh, okay, we got. We forgot. This is. We gotta change this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All yours. <laughs> Perfect. God, you are a pushover. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need? Uh, nothing really. Uh, okay. I'm gonna Just go get terracotta soon, and I need to make an observer, but uh, I'm not gonna steal your observer materials. Uh oh, You're okay. a redstone guy. Impulse is out there digging terracotta right now, so, you know, maybe you can sway him into picking some up for you. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll just tell him, ask him if he can run yeah, a quick yeah. errand for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. While you're out there, yeah. Tango is so full of good ideas. 
Gathering up the basalt and calcite gave me fantastic inspiration, and I've decided on this as a gradient. Starting with mud block, basalt, deep slate, cyan terracotta, tuff, acacia wood, and then stone, which we already have if we dig up the grass. <laughs> I'm hoping using some combination of these blocks, I can make some pretty interesting rocks within the terrain. And especially around the lighthouse, I definitely want the terrain to be a bit more dark, I guess sharp looking extreme god he's still fishing he's still fishing and here we have a humble cod fishing in the background okay so in order to start on this rock i'm actually going to just destroy a ton of the dirt that's all around this foundation i know that this is definitely going to be the width of my foundation but it doesn't have to necessarily start on this level i'm gonna bring the terrain up around it and kind of see how i feel as with a lot of the things that I build, I'm starting this terrain with just a bunch of the shaping. All of those pretty colors I picked out are great, but they don't matter much unless I get the shaping completely nailed down. I am enjoying this so far. I think it needs some stairs and slabs, but I also wonder if just some leaves around it as like maybe seaweed or something would help the look. I feel like just a little touch of green really goes with the deep sleet. He's fishing on my build. All right, I'll admit it looks a little weird purely because it's the only bit of custom terrain I've done. <laughs> Obviously the rest of the shoreline looks stupid and vanilla, but I think I do actually enjoy it as a concept. I, I'll probably get a lot better at terrain as the season goes on, I hope, but for a start, it's not that bad. It's a little busy. It's a little busy. If I had to critique it, I think that is uh, the main thing that I would say. I also want to transition it a little bit better into the vanilla terrain by just adding an extra little rock over here and then like a couple of boulders in the side of the cliff just to make it look less dumb for now while I'm still slowly working on the rest of the terrain. Genuinely already helped a ton. Okay, I like it. I think that there's a lot more details I need. Like I wanna get some of the cattails that Grian has done right there and put them in. Also sugar came to look good. And I'm also kind of thinking some glow lichen for seaweed. I really wish there was mossy deep slate. That, that would be like my number one pick right now, but I think I can use vines and lichen to get a similar effect. I found a little bit of fire coral fan and some vines. So let's go over and see what that would look like in the terrain. It's important to me that this build doesn't end up looking like a very beautiful, majestic coral reef. Like I want it to be a little bit off-putting. So I think having the touches of red would be a good way to do that. And honestly, these vines might get out of control, but let's just give them a chance. Let's try them. Cool. I like it. Hey, Jem. Oh, hello. On oh, my lily pad. Oh, my goodness. Oh, who lily padded all over the place? I'm boating here. <laughs> hey, it, yeah, did you pick them up? We need oh, those. I did. I'm sorry. I, I threw the back of the water. I apologize. It's okay. It's okay. Enjoy your boating. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the lily pads are definitely a problem for the boaters. It's super nice that a ton of hermits are always passing through here though, and that is why I need to build this lighthouse. I feel like it's the perfect landmark for boaters coming through, telling them to be careful of the upcoming bases. Oop. <laughs> there he is. Uh, sorry about the bridges, Zed. For the next part of this build, I actually want to be building out of stone brick. And since I haven't been lucky enough to get silk touch on my pickaxe, I'm gonna end up having to just smelt some cobblestone. Boy, we sure are back in the early game. <laughs> Luckily, the lava farm is proving handy for this. The other thing I'm really going to need is a bunch more tough. And since I just used some, I don't really have any anymore. So, I guess it's back to the mines with me. One of the things beginning this terrain has definitely alerted me to is the fact that my gear is not really set up for proper underwater building. And well, in order to make this entire landscape 
be amazing, I'm gonna have to shape under the water as well. A start of this is going to be upgrading my helmet to have respiration. I still need aqua affinity, but you know what? It's a good start. The other thing I could probably do is get a conduit, which is not gonna be easy. Since Green and I have been doing a ton of fishing, we actually have all of the Nautilus shells that you could possibly need to make a conduit. And that's usually the hard part, but this season I haven't actually seen a temple yet, so I don't have any prismarine. I know, I had so much prismarine last season, I miss it already. Thankfully though, with a few supplies and a little help from a friend, I think we should be able to solve this problem. Help from a friend, yeah. Yeah. That's, it'll be helpful. Prismarine! I've, I think I've got everything. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna need some of these guys. Oh yeah, I got my milk bucket already. How many you got? One. All right, I got five. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Are we gonna kill the guardian? Yes. You know, I could also make TNT and then we wouldn't have to. I've got TNT. Oh, I'm prepared. Really? All right, here we go. Onward! Aye, aye, Captain! I think if you know where the coral reef is, you keep going beyond that. I think there's one out there. Okay. Do, 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 do. I can't fish. Sorry, going too fast. You know any sea shanties? Uh. Oh, you put me on the spot now. <laughs> no, I don't. Ah, <laughs> darn it. Oh, there's one. There it is. That's Heck the one. Yeah. That's the one. All right. How do you want to do this? Oh yeah, we got it. We got it. We, yeah, we got to be quick. It's it's gonna come. <laughs> you got aqua affinity. Yep, I'm good. All right. We're about we're about to be taken down. A Get overboard. By the guardians. Right. Let's make a little. Oh no. We're in the top. Out. Come on, make a platform. Yep, there it is. I've got it, yep. Don't worry about that for now. Let's just get a platform and get safe because I'm about to die. You're about to die? Yeah. I'm getting... Oh, wait, you're in already. Yeah, I've got eight prismarine. What? No. What are you doing? I'm trying to not die. <laughs> yeah, you're too worried about your life. Okay. Can you put the bed down? Here's a bed. <laughs> Please click it. <laughs> it's a long, it's a long walk. Uh, do you have respiration? I do. Okay, good. I do too, but I'm still gonna make some doors. No, thank you, guardians. Oh gosh. Right, so if I remember correctly. Oh, I didn't bring anything to activate this TNT, did you? Uh, you know what? Slight oversight. <laughs> I can see the elder guardian down there, but I feel like I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, I've gotten a couple hits on him, but uh, they're also getting a lot of hits on me. Oh, God, it hurts. Do you wanna, do you wanna go in? Do you wanna eat up and go in? Uh, yep. Yep. Or I, I have- could drop tea, if I, if I could just get- I have iron, oh. I just don't have flint. Yep, same. I mean, there is gravel. There's gravel. Over. I, I have a silk touch shovel, so, uh. <laughs> I don't. Okay, I, I'll see if I can get, I'll see if I can get some. I'm healed back up, thank goodness. So what are we gonna do, drop TNT inside? Well, we need, do we need to put blocks around it? No, I think what you can do is just put a TNT and then a sand, and then the, oh. the, the falling sand falls in the TNT. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it, try it. God, they're so stupid. Have you got a direct way down? Yeah, I've got a line into the middle room there. We can get oh, in. Oh, he's outside. Oh, dear. He's dead. He's <laughs> We're fine. I'm, it's fine. <laughs> Crisis averted, actually. <laughs> yeah, I've got uh, one piece of wet sponge from him. Oh, yeah, that's what they drop, right? Yeah, and he also dropped his head, which on a note oh. block, I wonder what that's going to sound like. Okay, so now there's, a, there's two more. Should we use the TNT to get directly into their rooms? 
Oh, I'm down here. If you wanna oh. come join. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I'll just be super brave, yep. I was gonna just, like, cheat my way in, you know? Should we just, uh, seal this off? There we go. Wait! There's more than one? Korean! There's three! Uh, oh. Hmm. Yeah. Wait. I didn't bring enough milk. Did you trap us in here? Hmm. Korean! Uh... I thought there was only one. Gr oh my goodness! Yeah, we're in a bit of a pickle here. Right, get to work. Come on, this is a maze. Where, where's, where is the next one? They're in the wings, so we we gotta find we gotta find the wings. Oh, it'd be cool if there was a bow enchantment for shooting underwater. I think that's called a trident. Where is he? <gasps> Ouch! Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. You're Over here. Got him. Woo! Oh, good job. Right, one more. One more. So it should be just in the opposite wing. I think we can swim to it back here. Boom. Woo! Yeah, got, him. got him. Nice. Done. Easy right, enough. Guys. Now we can Is drink this? milk. Uh, yeah. We did it. Thank now. goodness. Now, we it's must find ours. sponge. Oh, true. I saw a gold room as well. Oh, I found the sponge. It's over here. My way. Oh, yeah, I found it. Or is this a different sponge room? Uh, well, you're not with me, so... <laughs> Two lots of sponge. Nice. That's very lucky, actually. Because they can have zero sponge. I'm ready to leave you while I can share what I've got. Yep, I'm good. I just claim an extra. Go! <laughs> no! Oh goodness. We're free! We've absolutely decimated we have that. We've griefed the server. We've, right there. we've just ruined that. <laughs> that. Okay, we'll have to go back and fix it. Uh, not right now, though. I'm not fixing it. All right, well, <laughs> I'll fix it. Someone, well, I, mean, I, I assume that's ours now. We can turn that into a farm if we want. Yeah, that's true. Shipwreck. You want to heart the sea? We gotta see. We gotta see if it's looted. Oh, it's not. And there's a buried treasure map. Okay. Right here. Alright, here we go. Got it. Oh, heck yeah. Heart and the there sea. is one! Nice! Oh, and a water Diamonds. breathing potion, actually. That's kind of useful. Nice. Alright, homeward bound. It didn't. All aboard. I think there's another one in that different one. Oh, there's a pillager outpost. Oh! I wonder if there's a laze. Oh no, see this is this is what happens, Jam. We're gonna get we're gonna get stuck <laughs> in the wilderness forever. <laughs> Should you have all day? Yeah, um, let's I don't think yeah, there's any. Cages. There's a golem. Um, doesn't look like an LA. No, no LA's. You know, you could get a crossbow. And you do have all Don't those books. Want a crossbow. <laughs> you have all those books, though. Oh, I got a horn. Oh. And there's a crossbow yes. as well. Ready? Oh, it's a Yay! good one. It's a good, good one. one. It's Sing. Let's go. Let's leave before we get distracted even yep, more. Yeah, no more. No more. No, can't look at the shore anymore. That's it. Fish stop. Grian! <sighs> but this might be the one. You're right. It might In fact, be. This is the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can feel it. This is the mending. No, it's a fish. <sighs> oh, look at that mesa. Oh, a little look. That's the rarest mesa. That's the Bryce one, right? It's the what, though? There's like a rare mesa that spawns like that with spikes. I mean, I don't see that very often. I think that's the one. That's awesome. Yeah. This seed is so good. That's the rare mesa. It's awesome. It's epic. Oh, Do you, do you want to stop and get some terracotta or are we good? I'm good. I stole some from Impulse. I am going to be building out of red sand this season. Let though. me just get, let me just get a couple bit. Yeah. Okay. 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 Picked up a few bits. Off we go. To our journey back. <laughs> I, we did say we weren't going to get distracted. No more distractions. Again, That's the last that one. Is like the, 
It's like the rarest biome in the game. It's so cool. And there's there's a whole that's it's actually epic. Yeah, I'm gonna be annoying. I need to get some cactus while we're here. Okay. Last distraction. Whoa. Oh my gosh. No, Jen, we're done. We're going home. We're going home. We're going home. You we sure? We can come back another time. We could be rich. We'll come back tomorrow. We can come back tomorrow. <sighs> All right. Look, there's a village. There's a village up there, Green. There's another village. There's the floating village over there. What if What if it has really nice decorative blocks in it? Like what? Uh, pots. Pots. Wouldn't hurt to take a peek. <laughs> but, uh -oh. oh! Uh oh! Oh! F for wait! Green! Look at him run! Green! <laughs> oh, oh no! no! Uh, bye. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. That'll yeah. be fine. Really funny that okay. happened. Nothing we can do that'll, about it, though. That'll be okay. <laughs> that'll be fine. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Could just see them, like, running around in the background. <laughs> once, we, once we unload them, they'll be okay, right? Yeah, it's somebody else's problem when they load the chunk. <laughs> <laughs> we did eventually make it home, I promise. Ah, that was some very productive exploration. Yeah, it's not that exciting, is it? It's creepy. Yeah, I was hoping I was hoping more for the <laughs> I think we'd have to get the small ones, right? <laughs> yeah, I can't believe we didn't get one. Uh let's go back. Yep, yeah, okay. No, I'm not going back. I'll go back. I want really? it. Really? Yeah. Really? I mean, not right now. Okay. <laughs> Down the road, Grant. Down the road. For now, let's put that there. But I'm slowly building the soundscape that I want my base to have. And I think that would actually be really cool to have somewhere. Like when you enter an area and it triggers that sound. That would be quite mysterious. I think it would add to the overall vibe quite a lot. Anyways, that entire trip was mostly so that I could get a conduit. And now I have one. And Nautilus shells to spare. You know what? We could decorate with these on the beach, actually. Hold on. Hold on. Item frame. I don't really have any proper beaches out around yet, but look at this. Ready? And then on the server, we have this trigger we can do that makes item frames invisible. I have invisible. There we go. Oh, wait. It's so cute. Now, this is what I'm talking about when I say the little details. Walking along a beach and it's got shells on it. We can do some stuff with armor stands too, but this is pretty good for the early game. And let's also go ahead and get a conduit down here. This is the area that I'm working right now, so this is where I'm gonna put it. This should definitely enable a lot more underwater building. I mean, I can see down here now perfectly. And I can already tell that this area over here is definitely starting to feel like the vibe I was going for. I actually, I love the red coral fans. Tingo's online, so obviously I wanna go show him the Elder Guardian head note block sound. Hi. Oh dear. Tango, you're not making any noise yourself. But, I'm uh... muted with the <laughs> muting, all right? I told you I was muted. <sighs> Yours is great. You got an Elder Guardian? Is that what that is? Or is that a regular Guardian? Oh, that's yeah. an Elder Guardian. That's an, I wish I had a regular Guardian. You know the screeching sound they do? I bet that's what the thing is. That is an awesome sound. <laughs> Isn't it? I cannot wait to put these around my base. Like, you could just use those for mood ambience. I, that's like exactly what yeah. I'm going to do. Like, you just, I just, maybe you, a skulk thing or something, and you're, like, walking along and suddenly yeah, this. Yeah, like, you walk into a certain part of your base, and it's just like, whoa. I, that fits my vibe so well. I need so many more heads. All right, that's enough fishing around. It's time to finally start on this build. And thankfully, I've already started on a little chest over here that has all of the supplies that I should need. Well... At least to get started, anyway. I feel like the lighthouse itself, when we get to it, is going to be like this narrow, if you know what I mean. So we got to get from the big base up to a smaller one. I feel like that's going to allow the build to have a little bit more depth than if I just went straight up in a more narrow format, I guess. Also, extremely excited to use the new polished tough blocks. Should go pretty well with the andesite, actually. I'm mostly curious about exactly how this is going to blend in with these rocks. Like, I think 
I think I'm gonna just have pillars here and hopefully those will transition us down into this rock face easily. I don't know, we'll, we'll find out. Let's, let's do it. All right, here's how narrow I've made the foundation so far. We are getting down to a shape that I think could actually work for the main tower. Hold on, I get my calcite, I show you. So originally I was going to do it a bit smaller, but looking at how large I made this foundation, I think a bigger main tower is probably okay. I still need to make it a little narrower from this point, so I'm just gonna do that by establishing a little andesite border. And then hopefully this will make for a pretty good lighthouse shape. Do you know what? I actually, I like that already. It looks like it's kind of mixed in with the rocks. I need to fix up that little row of cobblestone that's there and kind of blend things a bit better. But with a few details, that might actually be a pretty cool tower. That was very close. <laughs> Need more diorite to fully get this effect, but it's looking very lighthouse-like. You punched me. You, you always punch me. You act surprised like you've never met me before. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. Okay, you're building. I'm building I'm the guessing... lighthouse. I was good. I was about to say lighthouse. I, I was yeah. gonna guess. Oh, you were gonna get there. You were gonna get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just. I, I bet you're building a lighthouse, Jim. Yeah, I'm. I'm building a lighthouse. Wow, Etho. Very cool. You're like a future teller. Are you doing the classic white and red, or are you, you keeping it diorite? No, I'm just going to do white. Calcite with diorite stripes. Oh, okay, cool. Which I think will be cool. I, I might regret that. I might want red. If I want red, I'll just replace the diorite with red. Right. There's nothing that can't be changed. But do you like the rocks? I like the rocks. I really like the rocks, yeah. I think you did great on the base. Thank you. Thank you. ready for the next stage. And I swear I'm not doing this just to impress Etho, but uh, I'm doing redstone. I figure the best way to make an immersive lighthouse is to actually have the light that goes on top, you know, rotating. So I asked Impulse if when he was in the nether, he could grab some quartz so that I could make observers. And I think he did. And look at what he's working on. <laughs> Impulse is building absolutely huge this season, along with Joel. Gosh, we are all so close together. This is crazy. This is gonna be such an epic season. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna need that too. Yep, that's right. Thanks to Impulse, I can now make my first redstone components. Observers, I need observers. I think I need a lot of them. I think I need like 24. These observers, if laid out like so, will allow for a nice rotating light. Only problem is, I, uh, I don't actually have any lights. Oh yeah, I still got it. <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna be cool. Look at this. It's a little fast. It's a little fast, but it's cute, I think. Everyone, we've officially got a working lighthouse. Now we gotta uh, detail it and make it look less stupid. I think my lighthouse may have a secret admirer. <laughs> it did come out pretty cool, I have to admit, but the next bit of this build, well, it's gonna get weird, okay? You, it's gonna get a little abstract. <laughs> and for it, I'm actually gonna need purple, weirdly enough. You can do it. You could do it. No! Oh. Oh, Jim! I believed in you, I did. 
Oh man, your light tower is looking really fine. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I especially like the top on it. Yeah, did you see the? I did redstone. Do you see it? I see it. It's swirling. It's, it's doing working. The, the, the spin around. Is that a minecart or is it is it redstone? That is observers. I'll get you on observers. Good. Although I did, I don't know if you know the solution to this, but you see how the lights don't meet the top. There's only enough redstone to power two rows. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know mm -hmm. a solution to that, but I don't. Mm, I'll have to look one second. So you want one more, like three, or what? Do you, what do you mean? Like to the to the ceiling, if I could, like two more. Oh, okay. But one more well, would well, also be an added up, bonus. Right? Like you can only make it go two blocks, so you didn't need observers at the top going down. Then so probably. can can it go down? Like observers can go down. Oh yeah, they'll go two blocks down as well. But you got to put it on top then. I don't know if you got enough space for that. Well, I could just change the shape of the roof. I think probably. All right. No, the other thing though is like lighting updates cause a bit of lag, so just just be a little careful with it as well. <laughs> Not too much decorative redstone is what you're saying. Uh, you know, just just keep it in mind. You know. It's... I feel like honestly that's probably good. Anyways, that's fine. Uh, it's it could be two rows. Jim, do you want to play a game? What's the game? Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm allowed to take anything I want from your base, and you're allowed to take anything you want from my base. <laughs> Do you want chorus flowers? Do you have something I need? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what it is, but um, so I've had my eye on it. Yes, yes. We can play that game. Go ahead. You're sure? You can only take one thing. One thing. Okay. Yeah. You agree, though? You're, you're fine with that? Um, yeah, sure. It's not the chorus flowers, although okay. that would be nice. Okay, what is it? Uh, you got these like sniffer egg things. Oh, you want the heads? I want one of these, Jim. They're you, so cool. You can have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are from they the would look perfect crater. at my base. You can have all three of these if you want. Uh, I just need one for now, if you don't mind sparing it. Yep, go for it. Okay. Mm, yeah. I agree. Now you game. can take anything you want from my base. <laughs> You could have just asked for one, you know. <laughs> but yes. If I asked, you could have said no, and I wanted to make sure I got it, you know. <laughs> I don't say no to you very often. If I asked and you said no, and then I went like, hey, Jim, you want to play a game where I can take anything I want? You would have said no then to that game. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a challenge. <laughs> this is psychological warfare out here. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah abstract base ideas <laughs> including organics in this base to me feels like something that's very very important so i need to figure out exactly how i'm going to pull that off i've been debating this for a while to be honest because i really want to do a water themed base but this water is not very big yet and so it would really restrict my organics if i could only do them under the water so uh, that's that's why things are about to get weird. Now you may have to use your imagination just a little bit to see what I'm doing here because small scale organics are always a struggle. But these are two flying fish. Yes, you, you did hear that correctly. I am adding fish to the part of my base that is air and not water. There it is, cow. My slightly abstract take on fish. <laughs> I don't have all of the blocks that I need to exactly pull off this theme yet, but this is meant to be one ordinary fish and one slightly unordinary fish, or maybe extraordinary fish. I'm pretty happy with this build, I think. The process went lovely, and I can't wait to work on even more. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a little like, huh, for the fish, please. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!